Well, good morning, beautiful people out there in YouTube land. Welcome to my inspirational channel one more time. We are working on our 201st um, Bible challenge day today. And Joshua 24 will be the chapter that we'll be reading together this morning. I hope it's not too dark. It's still not quite fully daylight. And I was able to get it in earlier than usual. And here we go. Please grab your Bibles. Follow along with me. And uh, let's uh, just jump right into Joshua 24 this morning. And Joshua gathered all the tribes of Israel to Shechem and called for the elders of Israel and for their heads and for their judges and for their officers. And they presented themselves before God. And Joshua said unto all the people, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, Your fathers dwelt on the other side of the flood in old time, even Tyrah, the father of Abraham and the father of Nacor, and they served other gods. <clears throat> and I took your father Abraham from the other side of the flood and led him throughout all the land of Canaan and multiplied his seed and gave him Isaac. And I gave unto Isaac Jacob, and Esau, and I gave unto Esau Mount Seir to possess it. But Jacob and his children went down into Egypt. I sent Moses also and Aaron, and I plagued Egypt according to that which I did among them. And afterward, I brought you out. And I brought your fathers out of Egypt, and ye came unto the sea. And the Egyptians pursued after your fathers with chariots and horsemen unto the Red Sea. And when they cried unto the Lord, he put darkness between you and the Egyptians and brought the sea upon them and covered them. And your eyes have seen what I have done in Egypt, and ye dwelt in the wilderness a long season. And I brought you into the land of Amorites, which dwelt on the other side of Jordan, and they fought with you. And I gave them into your hand, that ye might possess their land, and I destroyed them from before you. Then Balak, the son of Zippor, king of Moab, arose and warred against Israel, and sent and called Balaam, the son of Beor, to, court, to curse you. But I would not hearken unto Balaam, therefore he blessed you still, so I delivered you out of his hand. May God add a blessing to the reading of this sweet word. And those of you who've been following me for quite some time, uh, you should remember some of the recap that we got in the last chapter of Joshua today. And I'm going to go ahead and go into our quick Google summary, and it's not that long today. The book of Joshua shows us God's faithfulness to his covenant with the Israelites to bring them into the land. <coughs> I'm sorry. To bring him into the land he promised to Abraham. This book points to the importance of covenant obedience before, during, and after God fulfills his promises. Joshua calls together all the tribes of Israel to Shechem. Joshua tells the people not to serve other gods, specifically the gods beyond the Euphrates that Abraham's father served, the gods of Egypt and the gods of the Amorites. The people promise that they will not serve other gods. And these gods that they're talking about are spelled small g, O, D, S. Amen. I know a lot of times when we're writing and we're talking about the true and living almighty God, some people would uh, uh, make it a small g, O, D. And they think, um, oh, it's no big deal. Oh, there is a big deal because the small g, O, D, S is not the one and true and living God. Uh, the small g o d s is other gods that were uh, being idolized and and being worshipped instead of the true and living God. Amen. I just want to say that. And um, 
I just thank God for our Google summary, for our lesson today. And um, those of you who's just joining in, um, we read the first 10 verses together to each chapter. And then um, we finish the rest of the chapter at our own free time. Um, this is the end of the book of Joshua. So uh, normally I ask you all to make sure you uh, have in all the comments that you want to have in. And uh, tomorrow we will jump right into the book of Judges. And I want to add before I let you all go, because I'm trying not to talk too much. Uh, I'm still struggling. Uh, my cold is uh, really fleeing you know it's not getting worse it is getting better but I don't want to stretch my throat <coughs> and um uh I did reach my 300th um subscriber and that 300 300 subscriber is somebody I know personally I just want to give a shout out to my site supervisor Lisa Rush and uh just want to congratulate her um, I would have personally congratulated my 200th uh, subscriber, but um, what happened was I wasn't at the right place and right time to catch it when it happened. And if you're not a public subscriber on YouTube, um, the my subscriber uh, number would go up, but I don't have a name attached to it. So I didn't know who to do the shout out to, to congratulate them for making a 200 subscriber. And it's the same for the 100 subscriber. Um, again, it wasn't a public subscriber and I couldn't do a shout out to them. But, um, I'm just grateful y'all. I'm grateful. Um, I'm, I'm walking this journey day by day. Uh, I've calmed down a lot. I'm, I'm not as, um, uh, I, I, I'm still geeked. I'm still excited. Don't get me wrong, but, uh, I'm not as pushy as I used to be. Yeah, that's a good word. I'm not as pushy as I used to be. Uh, I'm, I'm really just, I, I, I want subscribers who really, really love my channel. Or I, I want subscribers who really, really want to be here. I don't want subscribers just because I took their arm and I bent it behind their backs. And I, I truly want subscribers that wants to support the channel. Um, <clears throat> and uh, when I say support, uh, we're not talking money because, you know, it, that's we're not talking money. I'm just talking as far as just, just being in love with my content and being a helper uh and and not someone that's uh uh somebody that will come against you know i i want i want uh honest i want genuine uh comments i want genuine likes i want uh genuine shares um i just i just love people and i want people to love what I try to do for others um because I'm a people person <laughs> I'm a people person and I and I like people person uh subscribers okay uh I I want to with God's help make a difference in somebody's life amen and I want you all to also know that hey I need y'all too I mean you help me out in so many different ways all the compliments <clears throat> And I'm not going to start naming y'all names. You know who you are, my regular uh, commentors, y'all. Y'all know who y'all are. Uh, I just thank God for all of you. You know, your compliments, your encouragements, um, your concerns, your prayers. I mean, you just there. And uh, <laughs> thank God for you all. Some of you all I've known before YouTube. And some of you I've got to know since I've been on YouTube. So not all of my commenters are people that's in my immediate life. Some of you have become um, a part of my life because of YouTube. <laughs> and, uh, and I just want to say thank you this morning. And have a very, very blessed day. Please don't forget to like the video and have a wonderful, wonderful, safe day. Uh, just, you know, take God with you and just leave the rest of him. Don't worry. There's an old saying, if you pray, don't worry. If you worry, don't pray. Choose to pray and don't worry. Amen. Bye.